This is one of the only games you get to play and build an ant empire. It's Empires of the Undergrowth, and we've got an update. They do a monthly update, although they may have missed one, but who's counting? I am. But there's a new map called Tug of War, and it plays kind of interestingly. Basically, I don't have to build builders to go out and collect resources because here's the undergrowth. It's just one solid lane and i can even see inside the enemy's base so here's the queen and it's right there at the beginning and look at how big this space is what are we supposed to do that with this well we're supposed to make ants pretty much and they're gonna fight i've only got a hundred food and you can see that so it's a tug of war right i need to catch up uh i'm thinking army ants and i've got 145 food i almost said dollars so that's good enough for three army ants right here I think that they're using just the regular black ants at 50 food apiece, and mine are army ants, so let's see, when are they gonna pop? I could really use them to pop very, very soon, but we'll go ahead and get more because every little bit of income we're gonna have to increase. Okay, so that was actually pretty timely because they just got in my base, so let's see how we do three versus two. Oh man, they're pretty strong, but I think... I think we've held the line. I wonder what they're building right now. I, they, they might be saving up because they only have the two black ants right now, but my army ants are moving out in formation, although they're both very low on health, so they'll probably die, but at least there'll be reinforcements. And I'm thinking it may be a really good idea to build them at the same time so that they come out at the same time, because right now we're kind of going out in a line. And if I could keep them in formation in a big group, I think they do pretty well, because look at that. Four marching onwards. I used to play a, a game like this on Warcraft 3 custom maps and Starcraft 2 when that came out. What? Oh my god, that's like a decade ago now? During the glory days of real-time strategy games. So it's a sad, sad day. So we're definitely doing better and I think right now we're winning the tug of war, but as soon as this guy builds another one, he's been saving up a lot of money. There's, there's huge ants in here. You can get the army ant major and you can get leaf cutter majors so those are 170 food there's some expensive ants in here oh i didn't see that uh oh i think that's a leaf cutter oh that's an army ant major that just brought out let's see how beastly this thing is in combat one hit oh my god it's ripping us up okay so we're gonna have to definitely adapt to that and he's just killing everything that comes out there here we go. Or we could just go mass army ants. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try that. Let's do that. Quantity has a quality all its own, right? Yeah, this guy's soloing it. Now we're finally gonna take him down right here. That's a one ant wrecking ball. And look, there's another one right there. But look at this, man. I love to see just waves of ants pour out of the mound and just destroy these guys. So we should make quick work of this. But here's the real test. We've got what, about eight, I believe it is? Let's see how we do. Can we take this guy out quick and easy? How many do we lose? Oh, that was a good purchase. All right, it's your move. It's basically like an arms race, but instead of like nuclear weapons and mutually assured destruction, we're dealing with ants. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe it'd be a good time to call in some spitters here, but I'm gonna wait till I can afford like at least two of them. I'm three food shy. Oh wow, we're actually inside the nest. Is this gonna be a quick and easy one? Army ants may be the key here. What's going on with that? Oh, that's just a job. <gasps> Uh-oh. So we got some hits in, but I think it's clear that is, that's the leaf cutter ant major. So they just went with two tanks. I'm not sure if the AI adapting to me or if they have just a prescribed build order. I is this guy gonna, is he regenerating health? <gasps> he is! Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so this strategy won't necessarily work. We're gonna have to adapt it in some way. These two are gonna just mow through us. Maybe spitters wasn't the best thing to purchase. Where are my ranged units? We need them to go out not before, uh-oh. Okay, good, they're going out with melee combatants. So we'll have to hold them right here and see how it does. Oh God, what? He just, he just, he just marched through. Well, that's unfortunate because I can't give them attack orders. I can't give pheromones. This is interesting, my, but my next egg spawn is now? Okay, well, that is unexpected. This is on the beta testing branch, so things like this. Uh, I am sending a giant wave to them. Is this a base race? Well, no, because Big Boy just came out. All right, guys, we, we really need to stop him. Yeah, the queen is in imminent danger because my guys are like, nah, bro, we don't need to worry about him. Here we go. There's the range fire. Beep, beep, beep. 
pew, pew, pew. But my queen will also regenerate health, so I guess that's good. I think we need to save up for a big tank to draw the enemy fire. Because look at that. Four melee, three ranged. The endless battle continues. So how does they? how do they do against this guy? Ooh, spitters are doing good, but we took out one. Is that what? A second one? He's got two big boys. Yeah, I think an army ant major would be the thing. There's a reason he's the most expansive ant out there. He's gotta be one of the best fighters. And dang, this army's doing good. Quantity does have a quality all its own. Ooh, but the army's definitely getting serious, man. All right, we're almost there. Stay on target. We could purchase a leaf cutter major. Oh, these guys just snuck in too. So I think the queen could... Maybe it needs to be there so the respawning ants pass it and defend it. But I'd say right now, we're definitely getting ahead here. So I think this next purchase is going to be key. I'm going to put the big guy right here. Wow, he went all in on those big guys, didn't he? Let's see what he's purchasing. Oh, man. So that's... I think that's three. But once our big ant comes in, look at that larva growing. Oh, there he is. Oh, and he spawned out perfectly with everybody. As long as we just don't pass them. As long as we don't pass them, what just happened? The timing of this is really inconvenient for me. Army ants, save the day. Man, they are ripping through it. I'm gonna lose off some weird technicality because I have a full army out there. That's unfortunate. Maybe I put them in front so they respawn like right here. Oh, can these newly purchased ants save the day? I don't think so because we don't respawn unless we're dead. Wow. All right, see, look at that. Well, I think we've learned our lesson and this was on the medium difficulty. Should we jump it up? Look at them. They're teabagging my queen ant right here because and eating her alive. Well, eating her dead. <laughs> She's definitely not alive. That's why we lost. We're trying it again. Do we do the same strategy? Yeah. And we do it earlier because I think that may have been one of the problems was the timing of it all. To when our army is a little bit larger. Yeah, the fact that they win spitters makes this one seem like a little bit more of an even match. Interestingly enough. I wonder how many ants we can get going in here. Like how much will this escalate? Because essentially it's just endless waves of army ants, woodcutter ants, leaf cutters. <laughs> These two were spitting at each other and they both just died. Well, my army is winning so far and we can get, yeah, they're definitely going more infantry. So I think it's time to save up for a big guy. Go, yes. Okay, because they've pushed it back to the middle ground here and let's go ahead and get another army ant. Look at this, look at these guys. But we have the army ant major. Now I think the next ants that they've talked about teasing uh, and bringing into the game, oh man, he's just plowing through it, is the fire ants. And the only thing that I've seen that they're able to do that seems to be pretty unique is they're able to make like, like bridges out of all of the ants to cross water. So that's like a whole new strategic use of ants that we've not seen in Empires of the Undergrowth yet. Man, my army's doing well. He's like a T-Rex just tearing through a bunch of, I don't know, Wombats. <laughs> I want to see them make it all the way through the tunnels and start biting the queen. Because if that happens, I know I can save up for maybe another giant ant. No, it looks like we were stopped right at the door, but here's the reinforcements. I mean, the big one definitely did his job. They're going all in on ranged, aren't they? What's the counter to mass range? Is melee specialists really the way? No, it doesn't seem like it, man. They're, they're actually tearing through us. Okay, maybe range it is for us. The enemy income is 53. What did they do to get 50, 50 resources? They're destroying me. Oh my God, and look at this. Next wave of reinforcements is already there. Okay, so this is gonna be the big indication of how screwed is my strategy. If we lose this engagement, we're not in a good spot. <laughs> oh, we're actually, okay, Never mind. we are. It was just a timing push, maybe. It almost plays like Defense of the Ancients in a way. Okay, there we go. So that's the that's a good synergy. Big guy and little guys are taking the shots. Our shooters are getting the kills. And speaking of this, now we got the money. More shooters. We're in the tunnel, though. Push through. Break up their formations. But it literally is just endless armies of ants. That's one curiosity I had about this game is like, could you have, could you introduce bees and hornets and like yellow jackets and stuff like that? Like, could you make an Empires of the Undergrowth but instead like make it with bees? <laughs> Dang, look how quickly the big guy goes down. I think the only way to counter this is with shooters of your own. In great, great quantities. Or maybe more cheap and easy melee guys to keep our shooters up. So right now, like when we're dying, they just come out in these 
like one one at a time. There we go. There's a big move. There's a big spawning. Look at this. The inner workings of the empire of evil. Yeah, the ants that seem to do the most damage and survive the longest, probably because they kill enemies the fastest, is is shooters. Wow. That's like the big epic clash, and it, it looks like... Yeah, we're losing that, aren't we? Dang. We lost that clash. The enemy income, it, it's pretty similar. You know what I think we need is trap jaws. They remove themselves from combat when they're taking enough damage, so that might increase their survivability. In a, in a battle like this, anyway. Whoa! It's like the Revolutionary War where you're just bringing, you're lining up and firing muskets at each other. Oh my goodness! Reinforcements have arrived! But it's all the melees. They'll soon get taken out pretty easily, I think. Alright, time to buy a trap jaw and see how he does. Alright, the battle's happening. Where's our trap jaw? There he is. There's the trap jaw, just long and menacing looking. Do your best! Yeah, look how long, like, how the ranged ones live the longest. They get to hide behind everybody, so that explains a lot. Dang, the melee push. All right, Trap Jaws, let's see how you do if you're a good counter to Spitters. Because that's kind of what we need. Yeah, he goes back. He goes back in the fight. Maybe it keeps him alive a little bit longer? Oh, he dodges. Yeah, I guess against Spitters, he's not the best counter, is he? I don't know, man. We need a little more information on him. Maybe Wood Ants can endure some? They've got this shield on them. They're big tanks, but they're cheap. Let's try that. And maybe start upgrading our ants? I haven't seen them upgrade. They still are all on single diamonds. I think if they have the blue shield, that means they're kind of tanky. So they may not do a ton of damage. Yeah, see, they don't have a sword on them. They're sword, shield, and then range. So I think that's kind of... They definitely are surviving a little bit better. That's the key. Okay, because we, we purchased so much into this big guy, but we need a ton. All right, how well do we do in this skirmish? Did okay. Did okay. Because if they're wood ants, right, they're probably, like, used to other wood ants. It's the one where we finally push back. I mean, we're holding them right here for a while. Normally, they push back, so I think we're gaining momentum. Oh, man, they, they pushed us all the way back. But these guys definitely can absorb a lot of damage. So that's the key. If you see leaf or uh, wood ant spitters, you need the wood ant melee guys to kind of absorb damage better than most other ants. But that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Come on. You can do it. Yes. We broke through the front lines. Oh my god, yeah. These guys, these guys are good. But when's this next wave popping? Let's see what it looks like inside the enemy nest when their waves pop out. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, we're not gonna break through that. They're thermopoling up right here. And jeez, how many ants is that? I mean, I guess we have a lot too. It just doesn't seem like as nearly as many. Dude, look at that just death ball. There. Oh man, it's like a minigun. I think what I'm gonna start doing is experimenting by getting a few of all the ants. Because we've been pretty reliant on two, three kinds of ants, right? So now, we added some of these guys, which are the black ants. Oh, and look. Leafcutter medias? Sure, we want some of those too. We should win this one, but then there's the reinforcements. Absolute insanity. Let's see how medias do. Media, media. You can see him there. He's, he's biting up some of their defenders. He survived a decent amount. We've got four of them now. Hey, he made it to the shooter's line, so maybe he's pretty good at tanking shots. I think the next one we should get is the big majors. All right, check out the reinforcements, because now we have the giant ones. It's like AT, AT walkers out there right now. Look at that. Only the shooter survived. All right, which ones do we not have? We don't have these slave makers. Yeah, actually... I don't know too much about these guys, but we want them. We want some of everything out there. Variety is the spice of ant life. All right, big guys get there. Ranged ones behind them. We should win this one. Oh my God, we're losing it. Big guys got focused down. All right, so here's the slave makers. What do they do? There's the, there's the slave maker now. What does he do? Oh. He did something. I saw an effect. It's hard to make out which one is which right now, but I'm gonna get a few more of them. Wow, I don't know how, but the enemy income is, was at 180. I don't know how that's determined. 
but we've won that battle. <laughs> There's like a thousand battles happen in one game. I think it's time to try upgrading. We need to try something different. So I'm gonna have three tier two shooters out there. There's one. There's a double diamond out there and another one. So we should be out shooting them in quantity and quality, hopefully. It would be helpful to see the total number of ants, right? Maybe that's the strategy. If it seems like it's about survivability, right? The longer they can stay alive, the more damage they can do, presumably, right? So maybe that's what we need to do is just upgrade them. We've got a couple tier threes out there. Wow, I really underestimated how long this could take. <laughs> It is just an endless wave. Morale is not high right here. I am going to mass ranged units. It's time. It is time. Look at the minimap. Like, look at that. We need a nuclear missile. What's the ant equivalent of nuclear missile? Maybe like a magnifying glass. That'd be a fun little cheat code or bonus you could pump in. At what point do the sizes of the armies break my computer because there's too many on the screen? All right, what's the inside of their nest look like? Just giant chunks. Holy trap jaws. My goodness. And there's ours. Somebody needs to win this. Wait a minute. Is it finally our time? I feel like I've been playing this an hour by now. Oh God, they spawn in. But do we make it through the door? We made it through the door. It's been so long since we've done that. If we can hold that and our shooters can just destroy them, this is just, it's just brutal. I also need to be building more guys. Once I started massing trap jaws, it seemed to be a pretty good strategy. Oh my God, I think we're gonna push past them no so close where are the reinforcements they need to get here fast if these guys can hold trap jaws are pretty good i saw them start massing trap jaws so i try to do the same this is like that's gotta be a good strategy there we go we've broken through all right i'm gonna go back purchase a few more trap jaws because maybe that was the thing that helped turn the tide go back over here to see what's going on once our ranged guys get back in here oh wait oh wait get to the queen Rush the queen! No, there was like half a second before, between like when we killed the last one. We're getting hits on the queen though. Damage is being done. Look at that health bar go down. Come on. Yes! Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's an indication of what happened in this battle. Just ant acid. And not the kind that helps like heartburn. Just talking about hydralists, dude. They they stormed through. They they ended up beating us right there, but we killed the queen. We have overcome the adversity on the battlefield of ants. Guys, let me know if you'd like to see more Empires of the Undergrowth. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.